friends, my name is Shayla and today I'm here to do a little bit of a recommendations for you. I'm calling it recommendations on the fly. Coming up, we've got the 24 hour Tezuka 24 hour readathon that's going on on November 3rd. I'm one of the co-hosts as well as two other lovely ladies. I will have the announcement video linked down below. So you will have absolutely all the information you need to participate in this readathon. So what I'm going to do is we've got six optional reading challenges. So I've decided to give you guys some recommendations based on these challenges. So let's go ahead and dig right in. So the first challenge we have is Astro Boy. Read a title that features robots or machines. Now for me, this is a new category. I haven't really delved into this category at all yet. So this is going to be all brand new. So I don't have any recommendations for you. Some titles that I'm personally looking into right now to read for this one um, is Neon Genesis Evangelion. <laughs> My husband's staring at me. He's kind of in shock. There's one called Absolute Boyfriend, Clockwork Planet. So those are the ones that I'm considering reading for this readathon because it's a Huh? Evangelion. Steve votes Evangelion, just so you all know. So no, <laughs> this decision is... Decision made. <laughs> he says decision made. That means I have permission to buy, correct? Watch the first episode of the, manga, of the anime, and then if you like it, then you can buy it. Okay, fine. We can do that. So, anyways, he's choosing Neon Genesis Evangelion for me, which is a mecha-based manga slash anime series. So, anyways, you can always also use Astro Boy, which is the one that we have from Tezuka. It's a little bit older, a little bit harder to find. So if you can track it down, I would recommend that one as well. The second recommendation is Kimba the White Lion. Read a title that features animals or nature. So I've got a couple of titles I'm going to recommend for that. One of them I don't physically own yet, and that is Sacrificial Princess and the King of Beasts. This is very much like a girl who was raised to be given to the king of beasts as a sacrifice ends up given to the king of beasts and through a set of circumstances she ends up becoming the bride of the king of beasts instead of his sacrifice. So that's all I'm going to tell you about that but it is absolutely brilliant. I absolutely love it. There's only two volumes out in the U.S. right now so anyways it's a new series. Definitely check it out. I highly recommend it. Let's see, what's another one? Let's go with an oldie but a goodie. I would also recommend Fruits Basket. Fruits Basket is a paranormal style romance featuring members of the Japanese, or is it Chinese, I forget, members of the Zodiac. I wanna say Chinese. Chinese Zodiac. Chinese Zodiac. Yes, Chinese Zodiac. And our adorable friend Toru Honda who ends up meeting these Zodiac members and all sorts of shenanigans ensue. This series is so fun. I absolutely love it. Highly recommend. Another somewhat obvious choice for this one is actually Pokemon Adventures. Obviously Pokemon are animals. I did find the manga series, at least this first trilogy of them, to be interesting. The first one I didn't love nearly as much as the second and the third I'll be reading here shortly so if you like Pokemon, definitely give it a read. One last recommendation for this one is a recent read for me, and that is That Wolf Boy Is Mine. This is a short four volume series about a girl who stumbles into a friendship with four Ayakashi, who so humans who transform into animals, but they're primarily animals slash demons. It's, it's fun, it's cute. I promise you'll like it if you like that kind of stuff. The next is number three, read a title with religious or historical elements. So this one's a little bit tricky for me, so I've act I do actually have a couple for you. The first one I'm going to talk about is Full Metal Alchemist. This might surprise some of you that I'm recommending it here, but this is a story that does have deep roots in alchemy and the religious side of magic and the good and the bad. I do think it's a really good title for that. It also fits into another category, which I will probably mention then as well, but I do think this has some religious elements to it, and it's very indicative of some of the notes from World War II as well, so 
definitely give Full Metal Alchemist a look if you haven't yet. The next one I'm going to mention is Death Note. Death Note definitely has some good, bad, and the ugly elements to it. There is a cult kind of religion formed around a character called Kira, aka Light Yagami, as a vigilante. So this is a really interesting title. It definitely deals with the gray areas in which we can live and it's really good. I'm sure you've heard tons about this between all the people who talk about it here on YouTube to the Netflix really bad movie, all those kind of things. I'm sure you've heard about Death Note. I will leave a Goodreads description down below if you want some more information on it. The other title I'm going to mention for this is Rumroni Kenshin just because the historical time frame in which Rumroni Kenshin takes place is very interesting to me so I definitely think Rurouni Kenshin fits for this particular recommendation. This is about a wandering samurai who just is seeking peace in his life and the adventures that he goes on and the friends that he meets and I absolutely love it. Love it. Kenshin is a little cinnamon roll to me and I just love him. Recommendation number four is to read a romance or adventure title. Now most of what I read are romance or adventure titles. So you can check out any of my other recommendations videos on this channel. I will leave a playlist for all of my manga recommendations down below for you to check out. But I'm just going to mention a couple here real quick. I'm going to start with Dream and Sun by Ichigo Takano. This is the same author who did Orange, which is a very popular series as well, which also fits into this category. But Dream and Sun is light fruit, like Fruits Basket in its tone, but it doesn't have the paranormal elements to it. So if you don't want to deal with the paranormal weirdness of Fruits Basket, check out Dream and Sin. A less popular title that's a cute little romance is Let's Dance a Waltz. This is a ballroom dancing based manga series. It's only three volumes long. It's nice and short, but it's sweet. It deals with a plain high school girl and she starts to dance and the cute dancing boy at school finally notices her. It's sickeningly sweet and I just really like it. And I would be remiss if this category came around and I did not mention this particular manga series and that is Princess Jellyfish. Princess Jellyfish is a coming of age story with a beautiful romance written into it. If this is weird, this is quirky, this is otaku to the nth degree, this is such a fun series. If you have not tried Princess Jellyfish, I highly recommend that you do. It is steeped in all sorts of fun, different geeky cultures, some of them made up for this particular series, but it's really fun. Highly recommend Princess Jellyfish. This is also the category where I would put Full Metal Alchemist back in for an adventure story. Full Metal Alchemist is one of my favorite series. It's so good. It fits so many different categories for this. I just love it. One other one I feel like I need to mention right here is Fairy Tale. If you want to go on a fun adventure, Fairy Tale is definitely the way to go. This is about a guild of wizards and the adventures that they go on, the friendships that they make, the people they fall in love with. This series is long. It's amazing. It's fun. I adore it. Number five is Phoenix. Read a story or story featuring reincarnation or past lives. Now, this one is an interesting one. The only one I really truly feel like I can recommend for this is Wake Up Sleeping Beauty, and I can't tell you why because it's a huge plot point. So anyways, trust me, it has to do with it. Highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite series of all time. My review for this is coming soon, I promise, guys. I will tell you more about it in the review, but just trust me. Go pick up Wake Up Sleeping Beauty. It's cute. This also fits in your romance category. And number six is to read a suspense title or a story with medical themes. So I don't really have one that I would strongly recommend that fits this very well. Suspense, you're probably good with Death Note. There's a bit of suspense with the action in Full Metal Alchemist. I think for me on that, those are the only ones I've really got. I don't read a lot of like suspense thriller kind of stuff. And I don't really have anything with strong medical themes either. I don't even quite remember what I'm planning on reading for this. I have my whole TBR set aside over there, so I don't even remember. It might be something new that I picked out. I don't remember. But anyways, guys, those are some on-the-fly recommendations for you for the 24-hour readathon coming up. Again, the announcement video is linked down below. My co-hosts are amazing. Please make sure you go check out their channels. And again, I hope you guys will come and participate. All of these challenges are optional. You can combine as many of them into one title as you want. We only just want people to read some manga, 
on what would have been Tezuka's 90th birthday. It's going to be fun. I'm going to be hanging out on Instagram quite a bit. I'll do a few Twitter spins, but mostly I'll be on Instagram. And I really look forward to hanging out with you guys. Thank you again so much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe and click the little bell icon if you're new so you know when to come hang out with me. Thanks again, and I will see you guys next time.